Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Lupita. How are you? Fine, teacher. You're fine. Aquí, bueno, ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Cómo se siente ahora? Con dolor de cabeza, frío, de todo me ha dado ahorita. Wow, I can imagine. Ok. Si necesita tener su cámara apagada, no, no se preocupe, ok? Es entendible. Gracias. Yes, don't worry. Hi, Josué. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Hello, Jorge. Hello, Miss. Hello, how are you? I'm great, but I am tired. You're tired, right? Yes, I can imagine. And even that today is Tuesday, right? ¿Qué dices ahora? Tuesday. What day is it today? Yeah, Tuesday. Imagine. I want more <laughs> vacation. Yeah, right? You know, eh, probably tomorrow, yes, we are going to have the regular class. We are not going to eh, move to this, eh, tomorrow's classes. It's going to be a regular class. Yes. And, yes, and even better, you know, because we are about to finish with eh, this level, with this course. So we don't want to interrupt or to move this class to another day. Bien, Vicent. Ok, vamos ya con la clase. Listen, eh, in today's class, we are going to continue with the same idea or same exercise as we were practicing yesterday. If you remember, yesterday, it was the beginning of section number five. And the name for section number five is Tell me about your family. Yesterday, we were practicing vocabulary about family members and we were also making groups or we were uh, separating the vocabulary into three categories. Men, women, and both. Expressions or words that we can use to distinguish the members of the family. So this is the class from yesterday. And for today, we are going to finish with this activity, asking about families. By, okay, but let's start by making a review. If you remember, a men in the family, here I have some examples. I know that we have some other words or extra words in this category. But this is just a, a picture with an example of people or men in the family. We have an example, the first one, the great grandparent or grandfather. Do you remember this one? ¿Qué era esto? Great grandfather. Great grandfather. ¿Quién era él? This one, the first one. Es abuelo. Bis, abuelo. No olvidemos que la expresión que le sigue, grandfather, we are going to write it as a single word. Se escribe junto, ¿ok? Grandfather. Y siempre se divide por un guión. Great. Grandfather. Then we have the grandpa. And we also have the grandfather. Um, this is a very informal and very nice way to say dad, daddy, father. Or we can also say pa. But this is not that common, I guess. We have father, that is the same as daddy, but this is very cute and very informal. We have the husband, uncle, and father-in-law, the same. Separamos con guiones. Father-in-law, great-grandfather. Es la forma correcta de escribirlo. Those are the men in the family. Let's see, who do I have here? Some other examples. Jorge, can you please help me out reading 
these examples, men in the family. Brothers. Okay. Nephew. Boys. Baby boys. Twin boys. Cousin. Brother-in-law. Boyfriends. Men. Man and men. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nephew, boy. Baby boy. Baby boy. Esto lo utilizamos para hacer referencia. Remember, cuando es un bebé y queremos decir she is a girl, she is a boy, and we want to be specific. Okay, no es un chico ya más grande, sino que es un bebé. We are going to say baby first and then girl or boy, baby boy. This is another useful expression, twin, twin boys, or you can just say Twins. Si no queremos ser específicos, twins. That's it. Twin boys or twins. Cousin, brother in law, boyfriend, men, and man. Right? Singular, plural. Very good. If you see, we have now the examples about women, women in the family. Who do we have there? Women in the family. Josue, can you help me out reading the examples for women in the family? I am mother. Okay. Mm. Cousin. Cousin. Mm. Solo leámoslas, don't worry. For okay. example, great. A great a grandmother. Okay, continue. A mother. Mother. Mom. And, ¿Cómo se pronuncia la siguiente? Tengo dudas. Mommy. De, oh, mommy. Mommy. Cousin. Y, Mm, niece. 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 Uh, niece. Daughter. Daughter and aunt. aunt. Very good. Niece. 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 This is mommy. Niece. Mommy. Okay. Uh, y si cambiamos esa O por una U, ¿qué significaría, class? Do you know? Instead of writing it with an O and replacing it for an U, what is the meaning of that? Because it's a, there is a similar word. What is this one? ¿Qué es esto? Momia. Momia, exactly. And what is the pronunciation? Is it similar or different? Can you pronounce mommy and the other one? What is the difference in pronunciation? Or do they sound similar? ¿Cómo suenan o suenan diferentes? ¿Cómo sé que digo mamá o como digo momia? ¿Cómo sé la diferencia? Ok, class, let's pronounce this one. Pronunciemos mamá. O ma mami sería en este caso. It's mommy. Mommy. Momia in mommy. English. In English, how do we say momia? Uh -huh. Is it the same pronunciation or not? ¿Qué piensan? Mommy and mommy. You see, they are very close in pronunciation. So how do I know if somebody is referring to a member of the family? It's just the context. El contexto nos va a ayudar, ¿ok? Si es mamá o mommy. But in this case, of course, we are talking about this woman. So she is a mother. Or we can say mommy. Niece. Niece. It's very similar to the other word, nice. But in this case, it's niece. Niece. Okay? Niece and nice are completely different in meaning. Niece and nice. Look. And now we have Gustavo. 
Can you please read the examples? Women in the family. Girl twins. Okay. Girl. Sister. Your friend. Wife. And. Woman. And woman. This one, very good, great pronunciation. This one, it's not only for girls, but we can also use the same expression for boys. Teen, teenager, adolescente, teenager or teen, it's similar. We also have the expression girl, twin, or we can just say twins, twins, and that's it. Singular, woman, women, woman, women. Suenan diferentes, okay? Woman, women. Y el énfasis en la pronunciación está en la palabra men. Aquí es donde distinguimos si es singular o plural. Okay. Women, women, and, esta sí suena bien marcada la E, women. And the other one, sister, girlfriend, girl, girl twins, wife, and teen. And these are the examples for men and women in the family. So yesterday, I asked you, can you have a picture of your family, probably, and I know that you have a picture from your family and your cell phone, or maybe you have it just there in your office or in your laptop or computer, because we are going to present or talk about the members of our family. But first, let me ask you, do you have a big family or a small family? Tell me about your family. Is it big? Or small, Gabriela. Is it big or small? Yeah, my family is a small. It's in a small family. How many members are there in your family? Um, my mom, my dad, my brother, uh, my partner, my son, okay. and my husband. Okay, is your family big yes. or small? That is the first question. Josue, is your family big or small? Uh, my family is small. This is small. How many members are there in your family, Josue? ¿Cuántos miembros hay en su familia? How many members? Mm. Five members, four members, three members, how many? ¿Cuántos miembros? Eight. Eight, ok. So, ¿qué piensan clase? ¿Será la familia de Josué a big family or a small family? What do you think? Is it big or small? In your opinion, is it big or small? Big yeah, in my opinion, it's big. ¿De cuánto consideramos entonces que es una familia pequeña, a small family? How many members can a family have in order for us to say, oh, that is a small family? ¿Cuántos miembros creen ustedes? Para four. decir que es una familia pequeña. Yeah, right. Maybe four or mm -hmm. five, mm -hmm. the most. Mm -hmm. Two members, three members, four or five. And after that number of members, we can say that that is a big family. Bien. Jorge, how many members? Oh, no. Is your family big or small? A small family. It's a small family. How many members 
are there in your family? Uh, four, four members. Okay, only family. four members in your family. Okay. And you, Gustavo, is your family big or small? It's small. It's in a small um, family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, th three members. Okay, there are just three members. Yes, that is a very small family. In your case, Janira, is your family big or small? Uh, my family is more or less teacher. <laughs> okay, um, how many members are there? Uh, eight. Eight. So yes, you can say that that is a big family. It is a big family. Do you mm -hmm. all live in the same house or not? Uh, eh, not eh, in my house. I live two members. Only two members. Okay. The other, and this other live in your house. Ah, okay. The other house. The other house. So you can say that in your house, you only live with somebody else, and the other relatives live in different houses. Llamémosles relatives. Se acuerdan que es un relative? What is this? Mm. Ajá. Lo que pasa, ¿Tienes? teacher, es que son eh, dos de mis hijos. Ellos ya viven con su aparte. Muy bien. Ajá. Entonces, podemos decir que los otros miembros de la familia sería la expresión relativa. Siempre son miembros de la familia, pero the other relatives, they live in a different house. Ok, relatives. Mm -hmm. Very good yeah. job. In your case, Danielson, is your family big or small? My family is big. It's big. How many members are there in your family? <clears throat> we are six. Okay. Six uh, children. Ah, okay. But so we was, we was. No, because are they still alive? Only one. Only one passed away. Passed away. So my older sister. So you can say, yeah, we are six, and then you can be specific. But one of my brother passed away. So yes, when is it six? We are in presente. Somos six. But one of my brother or sister passed away. Passed away. And the other, my other brothers uh -huh. live near to my house. Ah, okay. In my house, we only live my mother. Okay. One brother. One niece. Your niece? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, and that's it. Very good. You see? Without now, pets. You don't have pets? No. Why? Is it that you don't like pets or you I don't, don't like, have? Not don't even like. dogs? How about cats? No, no dogs, no cats. How about birds? Uh, the last, um, the last, Sunday uh -huh. passed away the perico. Really? What <laughs> happened to it? Yes. Uh, older. He was very old. Imagine. So he was a member of the family. You see? Lo dormimos. <laughs> oh, really? That's really sad, you know? It reminds me of my dog. One of my dogs, she passed away like one month ago so yeah i still ah. remember my dog you know yeah, so no. yes hey okay, but very nice information you see eden nielsen he is giving me extra information about his family look at these questions first tell me about your family how your close family is made of es similar a que les pregunté ahorita cuántos miembros hay en su familia 
O podemos preguntarla de esta manera. Y es lo más común escuchar esto. How your close family. Se refiere a los que viven en su casa. How your close family is made up. O está compuesta por. And then you can ask your classmates. En mi caso, les puedo preguntar, tell me about your brother, brothers, or tell me about your sister, or your sister. But you can replace this information asking, tell me about your children, tell me about your parents, okay? It depends on you. Tell me about your kids or your kids. And then you can also add this extra information. What does your mom do? Oh, she is a teacher in the University of Texas. What does your dad do? He is a car carpenter, you know? Like the conversation that we were listening yesterday. Quiero que vayan y entrevisten primero a sus compañeros para que repasemos cómo vamos a presentar a nuestra familia. Hagan preguntas como how, your close family is made up, or how many members are there in your family? Pregunten sobre eh, personas específicas, for example, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, or some relatives that live in the same house. Talk to your classmates so you can practice the vocabulary. I'm going to be listening, and after that, we are going to be ready to present the members of the family, okay? I'm gonna be the first one. Yo voy a ser la primera en presentar para que vean cómo se hace, okay? But right now, vamos, les comparto las preguntas que van a discutir con sus compañeros. Talking about members of the family. Is it clear what we are going to do? Ahorita solo discutir. Discussions. Please do not write. No escriban, ahorita es más que todo speaking practice. It's not writing practice. This is a speaking practice. And after that, we are going to listen to your classmates' information here together. Okay, se las envío ahorita. Son cuatro preguntas. Four different questions to practice listening to your classmates. Okay. Vámonos a los grupos. Let's go to the groups so we can practice. Let's make small groups. So you have the chance to listen to your classmates and to practice at the same time. Groups of three and I have a group of four. Vamos clase, practiquemos, let's practice right now. Okay, there we go. Let's go and practice. My sister, ama de casa, ¿cómo se dice? A host, housework. Housework. Teacher, ama de casa es eh, hacer trabajos domésticos, es housework. Yes, or house yes. wife también. Yeah, house housework. wife. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Husband. Has wife. Has wife. Has wife. Okay. And your brother mm -hmm. works is... in Uber. Uber. Mm -hmm. And your father? Uh, my father is agricultor. Uh, farmer. It can be farmer. Farmer, very good. And your 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 mother is house housewife. Uh -huh. Okay. Tell me about kids in in your family. I two boys. Two boys. Mm -hmm. And or uh, and uh, girls. Baby girls, uh -huh. no, uh, children, or niños, varones, varones, <laughs> boys, boys, mm -hmm. okay. Vaya, entonces ahora pregúntele usted a, a Josué. Uh, Josué, tell me about your family. What does uh, your daughter? Uh, my daughter is studying uh, at the university and, and work in the vet. Aquí está la teacher. ¿Cómo es el veterinario? It can be doctor bet, doctor bet, o solo decir bet. Pero solo la veterinaria, si se me refiero a la veterinaria. A la clínica. A la clínica, a la clínica sí. que sería veterinaria o, o, o pet. Pet, ajá, decimos pet. la categoría pet. It, it is like a hospital or clinic, yes. Teacher, es que en el traductor dice... Vet y dice veterinaria, veterinari, sí. uh -huh. así que I confuse. No, sí. Ah, sí. Sí. Pero es que a veces veterinaria eh, depende si es el lugar donde los asisten o solo venden también los productos. Tenemos que determinar. Que no, como general, general, digamos, como la clínica, que los asisten y uh -huh. las dos cosas. Y venden productos. Entonces, en ese caso sí sería eh, like a bed. Bed, uh -huh. ajá. Like hospital, you know. Let me look for it. Déjame buscarla específicamente. But continue uh -huh. speaking. And just be careful. Remember, when we talk about the simple present tense, my daughter studies, mm -hmm. my daughter works. Agregamosle la S. Works. Ah, sí. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So, okay, continue. Okay, okay yeah. Rita. Rita, verdad que mencionó a su mami. Sí. Your mother. Uh, my mother lives uh, with me. So, tell me about your mother. My mother lives with me. She doesn't work. Uh, Only, ay, no me acuerdo cómo se dice. Ama de casa, no sé cómo me acuerdo cómo me dice. Eh, house, wife. House, como esposa, wife. House, wife. House, wife, yeah. house wife es ama de casa. She has house wife. Como desperate housewife. Exactly. Uh -huh. A eso se refiere. Desperate housewives serían amas de casa desesperadas. ¿Cómo se dice? Ah, igual que la serie. Ya, yeah, eso es ama de casa. House y luego wife. Desperate. Desperate. Uh, Vaya. Rita estaba buscando y sí, es bed hospital. Bed hospital o puede ser una bed shop. Bed ah, shop. Okay. Ambas son okay. Yes. Vaya. Okay. Okay. Vamos con él, ¿verdad? ¿Usted le pregunta, Rita, o yo? 
you ask the question. We have three. No, one sister, two brothers, my parents, and grandmother. Mm. Okay. Um, how your close family is made of? Yes. Hola. Uh, how your how your close family is made of? Oh my daughter. And my house only live with my grandmother. Ah, okay. And tell me about uh, your brother? No, my brother. Oh, sorry, and we sister? With my and, and any brother living in Italy. And we don't know how bed and my house the cat no can you ask me or Samuel or Family. Okay. How your close family is made up? Gabby? Um, in my house, just my mom, um, my partner, and my son. And I have, we have, we have two beds. Two pets, sorry. Okay. Yes, we have uh, two dogs. Two dogs? Yes. Uh, my family or men? Sorry? The dog family or men? Ah, uh, it's, it's, they are so I don't know how they say for animals, but marketing huh? me me my question. <laughs> you can refer uh, whenever you're talking about your pets, in this case about your dogs, you can say yes, it is a girl or a boy. Se puede decir también, yes. Okay. Or podemos decir male or female, but no, se puede decir girl and boy. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's good. Okay. <laughs> for the girl and boy, only a human for me. Mm, yes, right. But remember that we can adapt. We can make like adaptations, and the language is very, you know, in this case. Indefinite. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Carlos, come on. That's okay, pueden usarlo. It's a girl, you know, I have a, o pueden referirse por el nombre, you know. O male okay. and female, yes. But don't worry, si se puede usar. Las adaptaciones del lenguaje es, es permitido. So don't worry. Okay. So did you finish or no? Who is missing? Okay, okay. Talk to me. Okay, Ivania. Tell me about your family, how your close family is made of. Uh, I get uh, a partner um, for the for the business. Okay, it's, it's good. Did you finish? Uh, you... Hello? Did you finish? No. 
Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Ya muchos de aquí. No, don't worry. <laughs> Remember, uh, this is going to help you. Esta información que han compartido le va a servir también para hacer la presentation. You know, your presentation. If you have okay. a picture and or if you can show a picture with your cell phone, that's going to be perfect. Okay, so be ready. Vámonos a la sala principal. Let's go back. Okay, we're back. I was listening to you. And yes, you were doing a great job, a great uh, information sharing with your classmates. Now, what are we going to do? I'm going to give you one or two minutes so you can look for a picture, you know, from your family. Maybe uh, you're not going to have um, like a picture of the whole family. But if you have it, that's okay. If not, you can present to the class a picture of your close family. Busquen una foto de su familia cercana, la que vive en su casa. For example, your mom, your dad, or only your wife and your kids. Or if you have your pets, you can look for the picture as well. Le doy un par de minutos, dos minutos, para que organicemos la información right now y podamos presentar a la clase sobre su familia. Sus compañeros les pueden hacer preguntas también. Okay, similar to the exercise that we were practicing. Look for a picture. Todos busquemos una foto ahorita para que podamos compartirla con la clase. Les doy dos minutos. Look for the picture right now. Let me see if I have a picture as well. It means the pictures of my family. Yes, because you're going to talk about your family. So don't uh, worry. You have it in your cell phone. Si la tienen en su teléfono, no hay problema. Don't worry. If you don't have it, problem? that's okay. If you don't have a problem. It's my problem. It's my problem. I don't have you don't a have photo of my family. Don't worry. So you're just going to present. Solo a presentar, okay? okay. Uh, look at that okay. picture. It's really nice. I really like that picture, you know? And it's really nice to see you with your family because this is something that most of the time we don't share with the family. Okay, empecemos, let's see. Do you want to present the information, Jorge? Empecemos con Jorge, muy bonita picture. Tell me about your family. Okay, Jorge, you can start with the presentation right now. What can you tell me about your family? Okay, teacher. Okay, whenever you're ready, go ahead. Tell me about my family. My family is a small family. Okay. I have two daughters. Uh, Sophie and Sarah. She has uh, 11 years and 8 years. Uh, they study in Colegio Palas Atenea, Palas Ateneas, fifth grade and second grade. Uh, she is my wife. She, she is a housewife and care my daughters. Uh, 
I live in in the mom house, en la casa de mi mamá. But my mom retired, o sea, es jubilada. And, uh, ¿Cómo se dice mayor tiempo? Live in Aguacha, en Aguachapán, el, eh, San Lorenzo, Aguachapán, en Countryside. Most of the time, most of the time. Most of the time, live in San Lorenzo, Aguachapán, en Countryside. Eh, in front of my house live my, my sister with her family. And near my house live my other sister. Is this my family? And this is your Only family. That. Okay, class, any question? Alguna pregunta que quieren hacer class? Any type of question? Because he gave us a lot of information. Yes? Alguna pregunta, clase? Gaby, Samuel, Edenilson, Ivania, Jose, I don't know. No questions? Remember no questions. to practice. Remember, you can practice, but it was a great presentation. Thank you so much, Jorge, for sharing the picture of your family and also the information. It was clear. <clears throat> great job. Who's next? Who's ready to present now? ¿Quién va a presentar ahorita? Who's next? Come on, class. We still have 40, no, like 15 minutes left. There we go. Alberto, great job. Hi. Tell us about your family. Go, please. We are listening. Okay. Uh, they are my family. In the picture, uh, he is my dad. He, his name is Jorge. She is my mom. Uh, her name is Reina. He is my brother-in-law. His name is Edmundo. She is my sister. Uh, her name is Ivania. And, and my nephew, she is uh, Paola. Her name is Paola, verdad? <laughs> in the picture, we are in our house, Chalatenango. Solamente. Wow, interesting. Wow. So was this picture for Father's Day or for a birthday party? Mm, was this picture, the picture, was it taken? ¿Cuándo fue tomada esta picture? For Father's Day or ah. for a birthday party? For a mother a ah. birthday. For your mom's birthday. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. You know, you have a really nice family. Any question, class? Questions that you want to make about Alberto's family? Or any comment? Let me listen to you. Algún comentario, no? Paola is your nephew or your niece? Uh, niece. Excuse uh, me. <laughs> ah, you see, yesterday we were making the distinction. Very good job. Hmm. So, okay. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Who's next? Thank you, Alberto. Can see it. If you don't have picture, don't worry. Do not worry. Your teacher. Go, so, please. That's okay. Okay. Okay, hey, we are teacher. going to listen. Go, please. Okay, uh, my parents uh, are. My father is Angel Alvarez, and my mother is Enma de Alvarez. My father is an uh, agronomist, and my mother is lawyer. Um, of them two, we are three siblings. Me, my sister, Nicole, and my brother, Angel. In my case, I have a daughter uh, with my, my wife and my, my wife, Nancy, uh, and her 
Uh, her name is Sofia. Ah, yes. there she is. There. <laughs> How old is Sofia? Yes. Uh, um, How old is she? She. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I. Um, ¿Cuánto tiene Sofía? How old is she? She, she, five, she is five months. Wow, oh. she's five months. Yes. So you are a new yes. dad. She a is new still dad. a baby. She is still a little baby. ¿Cómo podemos yes. llamarla entonces a ella? She is a baby girl. Yes. Baby girl. Baby yes. girl, yes. And she is the uh, best gift ever. Miren qué bonito lo que dice ahí. Best gift ever. Su mejor regalo. Muy bien. Thank you. Yes. Any question? Um, yes, tell me, Gustavo. Mm -hmm. There mm -hmm. is my sister, ah, my okay. wife, mm -hmm. my brother, my mom, and my father. And your dad. Okay. So your three siblings, right? Three siblings. Yes. Very good job. Yes. Excellent. I really like the information that you presented. Anyone? Can see it. Who's missing? Vamos. I'm still missing Janira, Eden Nilsson, Samuel, Carlos, Gabriela, Ivania, Josué, Lupita, Rita. A lot of you are missing. Ruth. Missing. Oh, please. Okay. Oh, okay. Eden Nilsson, please. And then Gabriela. Okay, go. Me escucha. la Santa Cena tiene. Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. Okay, whenever we are ready. Your microphone. Ahora. Okay, ahí tiene soporte técnico ahorita. <laughs> sí, aquí viene informática. ¿no? <laughs> Tech support, very good job. Me cuesta. Yo la había puesto bien la foto y se me perdió, teacher. Ok, but Gustavo is there. Ok, don't worry. Gracias. Ok. ¿Me escucha, teacher? Yes, I can. Ok. There are my siblings, my sister Karina. Ya no ven. No, we cannot see the picture. Sure. And now? Mm, yes, now we can. Okay. There are my family. There are my three siblings, my older sister, Elsie, my youngest sister, Karina, my youngest sister, Dennis, and I. They live near to my house. Only my mom live with me. And my youngest brother. We don't have I don't like pet. You don't like pet? Because okay. it requires many cares. Yes, I know. You know, and then, do you have some questions? Questions, class. What do you want to know about his family? Or comments? And then, so what do you like? What do, bueno. What don't you like pet? Ah, because require, require care. Yes, 
care, many cares, and I don't have time. Okay, interesting. Any other question? No questions, no comments? If not, thank you so much for sharing that picture. When was it? What were you celebrating in that picture, Elenisa? Um, Mother's Day. Oh, it was for Mother's Day. Okay. Yes. That's really this nice. Year. This year. Okay. Interesting. Mother's Thank Day you. celebration. Okay. I guess Gabriela is ready, right? Do you have the picture or do not worry? If you don't have a picture, you can also talk about your family. Go you please. don't have many pictures. <laughs> of course I do. I have a presentation. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. Go please with your presentation. Um, see. Yes, we can. Go, please. Okay. Uh, this is my family. Uh, he's my son. His name is Elvis Fernando. And he's a uh, treacher. Uh, he loves plays with his toys and loves the Spider-Man and dinosaurs. And he's um, Elvis Antonio. Um, he's uh, my partner and he's an uh, engineer. And he loves play uh, soccer. She's my mom, and her name is um, Yesenia Marisol. He's 40, 40, 49 years old, and he cares. He cared to Elvis Fernando. And he's my brother, my little brother. And her name, sorry, his name is Alexis. He lives in Los Angeles, California. And he works in a warehouse. He's my dad. He lives in Los Angeles too. And he works in, in various companies. Uh, sometimes he's an electrician and sometimes he works uh, with a company to organize uh, events. And this is my phone. I don't know if we have a question. Do you have questions, class? Wow, it was a really nice presentation, you see? Wow, how is it that you have a PowerPoint presentation? You know, that is very special, you know? And really nice presentation, Gabby. Questions or comments about her presentation? Yes? No? So let's react, you know, with a heart. It was really nice, Gabby. Thank you so much for sharing that special information about your family. I still have like time for two or yes, one extra presentation. Who is ready? Ivania, are you ready? Or do you have a question? I am ready. Okay, please I think go. so. Okay. Okay. This is my family. We have 
13 <laughs> uh, because my pets. Uh, this is my brother, Alberto. My mother, she's Reina. My father, his name is George. Uh, my husband, Edmundo. My daughter, Paola. And, and my pets, my cat. Uh, the name is Mari. My dogs, Bella and Sasha. And my turtles, Coco, Chanel, Camilo, and Eva Luna. And Eva Luna, excuse me. <laughs> wow, you have a lot of pets, you know? Yes. And it's a really <laughs> nice family. You know, I really like the pictures that you're presenting and also the information. It's a really nice family, you know? Questions or yes. comments about Ivania's family? Questions, comments? Yes. Huh? So let's do the same, you know? Thank you so much, Ivania, for sharing that presentation. It was very specific and I really like it as well. Who's ready now? Okay, there we go. Who's ready? ¿Quién sigue? Hace falta Ruth, Yanira, Samuel, Carlos, Josué, en Rita en Guadalupe. You need to present, you know, this is information about your family. ¿Quién sigue? Who's next? No, no volunteers. If you don't want to show a picture, there's no problem, you know. So let me listen to Janira. Are you ready, Janira? No, no, no he podido subirla. Yo no he podido subir la foto. Okay, don't worry. If you want, you mm -hmm. can present tomorrow. Mañana estaría bien. Carlos, okay. are you ready? Okay, gracias. <laughs> My family. Yes. Uh, okay. In my case, we we have two houses. Okay. And only living only one grandmother. And the other house live with my parents and my brother and my sister. Okay. Okay. My family is my parents, my sister, and my brother, and grandmother, mother. Uh, my parents is very young because my mother, she is uh, um, six, no, five, eight years, my father six two years okay. and my case I have 44 years okay and my sister she have 40 14 years no 40 40 years and my brother he has 35 years. He's 35. My other brother living in Italy and uh, with border in Switzerland. Uh, he worked in the restaurant, my housing. Um, it's very nice. Uh, he living in, in Europa. Oh yeah. Only my my family. Uh, my family no uh, we don't know have pets. Why? Because you don't like them or 
It's that, because the problem is my mother because um how, how, how do you say enamorarse? She gets in love easily. Right? Get in love the best. Mm -hmm. The problem is when the pet um died, died. Yeah. My mother is a uh, depression. Yeah. Very, very big problem. She goes under depression. Yeah. Oh, okay. I now I get it. Okay. Now I understand why. Yeah. So that's your family, you know? Excellent. So just let me make a, a comment, you know. I was listening to you whenever you are expressing about people's age. Cuando nos referimos a la edad de la persona, siempre usamos el verbo to be, okay? My brother is, I am, or she is 41 years old, for example, okay? Eh, para que no ocupemos la traducción literal, yo tengo, ella tiene, okay? Sino que en inglés se utiliza el verbo to be, is, o are, ellos tienen, they are 41 years old, she is 41 years old. That's the only one. Los que me hicieron falta mañana, sin perder tiempo, vamos a presentar sobre su familia, ¿ok? Because it's important. Remember, este es un tema que le van a consultar, ¿ok? Cualquiera puede preguntarle de su familia. So you need to be ready to present information like the name of your family members, the age, where they work, where they live, so that is like basic information in order to talk about uh, about this topic, okay? We are going to stop the class here because of the time, but remember, I'm still missing a lot of you, so you need to present tomorrow. And thank you so much for the ones who were sharing the information about their families today, okay? We are going to see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming today. Let's meet tomorrow class. Bye-bye. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.